Hi my friends, my name is Leisha and I am so happy that you're here. We are going to talk about something that's really near and dear to my heart and I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't written anything down, I don't have a script, I'm just hoping to talk from my heart and just kind of let you feel my genuine sincerity in this topic and in this subject. Um, I wanted to start off by talking about a study done about rabbits. If you know, you know. In this project, I hope you can't hear the lawnmower. In this project, they were studying about how um, eating habits affect blood pressure, cholesterol, and things like that. Now, they went through and they were analyzing all of their data and they saw that a few like this one group of rabbits had way better health than the rest. They had the same food, the same exercise, the same everything. They tried to make all the variables the same, except this one group of rabbits. Just, they were so much healthier. Their blood, their cholesterol wasn't high, their blood pressure wasn't as high, and they were going through and they were trying to figure out what made this difference. What was the thing that was making this group of rabbits so much healthier? They went through and they were looking at all of the people who were administering the food and care to these rabbits. This one lady, this one girl, um, was the one in charge of these group of rabbits that were so much healthier. So they went to her and they asked, what were you doing with these rabbits? Were you making sure to give them the same amount of food? Everything was the same. It looked like she had done everything right. The only difference was that she would talk to the rabbits and she would hold them and she would pet them and she was so kind to them and she loved them. She said, I'm so sorry, I just can't help it. I just wanted to care for them. So as she was doing all of the requirements of this study, she also was kind to them. And because of this, because of this one thing, these rabbits were so much healthier. Now, there are so many ways to interpret this. I just loved hearing about this study. I just, it really, really rang in my ears the importance of being kind to each other and the importance of being kind to yourself. I believe that everyone has a bank account. You've probably heard this analogy before. It, be it comes from the book, Whale Done. But I believe everyone has a bank account, an emotional bank account. And you can deposit into that emotional bank account all day every day by doing kind things, by giving hugs, by smiling, by giving compliments, by giving gifts and serving. There's so many ways to deposit into people's bank accounts. Now if you need to critique someone or you tell them no or you need to or you do something that hurts their feelings, you're withdrawing from their emotional bank account. And my goal is to always, always, always have the people around me with positive, positive bank accounts. I want them to have way more emotional money in their bank account. Um, and I know there are a lot of people in our lives who are in the negatives. They don't feel loved, they don't feel valued, they don't feel safe. Um, and can you imagine the difference our world would be if we just took the, the few people who are closest to us and loved them? and were kind to them, just like this girl in this study, because how much healthier as a society would we be if we did that? Now, on a, on a new level, I think about, my battery's blinking, I hope I can finish this video. On a new level, I think about how much better we would be as people if we were kinder to ourselves, if we thought kinder thoughts, spoke kinder things, I'm one of those people who struggles with this. And so hearing about this study, I thought, I really actually think I can be a healthier person if I'm kinder to me. And the last thing I wanted to touch on was this. There is one person who knows you better than anyone else, who wants to take care of you and be your caregiver and give you hugs and love you and speak kind and speak kind words to you. And that is our Savior, Jesus Christ. He loves you. Let him be the one depositing into your bank account if you don't have anyone else. 
I just really, really hope that you take the, the time to be kind to you today.